not to make this video, but everybody you knows it's gonna be weird for some people because I'm making this video it's gonna be for God, not for regular people or anything like that. And I'm not to talk about like Christmas stuff. And I don't care if you guys think I'm tripping or whatever. But after I left my body and like I had that experience, I'm talking about the I'm the father or whatever. I did my research on the Bible to learn more about that. Like, okay, like if I if I like died or whatever and left my body and spirit and got life through Jesus Christ and then was able to see God and all that. And then he says, I'm the father. I went back to see what that was about. So I only share what I found. So a lot of times you'll hear people say, um, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the father unless it's through him. A lot of people just get stuck on that part where Jesus is the truth, way, and the life, which I already know, like, I agree, like, but that's like a, it's clearly like a path. Jesus is the way, the truth, to the life, and no one gets to the Father unless it's through Him. He's clearly sending you guys to the Father. And people don't understand that. They get stuck at Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that's it. Like, they'll be like, fuck the Father, blah, 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 I'm already saved, whatever, cool, whatever. So, this is why I'm making this video for God, because um, reading the Bible can sometimes, it hurts, like, because you get cleansed from your heart and all that stuff, so, it's, it's a little bit different, but I'm letting you know, like, if... Like, like this video is for you guys because one day you're going to have to meet your maker and the only way you're going to be able to do that is through Jesus Christ right so all of you guys out there saying Jesus Christ is God and all that I mean I, I understand where you're coming from I really don't care because I've seen both like, like I've seen both you know so it's whatever but the message is this to God. When I was young, when I was 18, my only purpose was to find peace within. Like, I, since I was 18, I had depression. Between 18 and 22, I was suicidal. And, and I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to leave. And fuck everyone else. Like, I'm troubled in spirit nobody understands that so I'm just gonna do what I, what I have to do to create peace and I did that between 22 to like 25 or whatever and it'll it feels like you know how like people talk about the breath of life and all that like I had all that experience, you know, so I ended up finding peace and my purpose was to share it. I couldn't be holding on to love and and peace and all that to myself. So I had to find a way to share it. And I started it by um, changing the way you think, like that's how I did it, you know, like I had to change the way I thought, I had to become single-minded, walking in the spirit or whatever, where thoughts and doubts don't arise, and all these different things, so I ended up sharing it for people, and I guess I did my job, because I did that when I was younger, I was 30 years old right now, you know, so I did my job and I 
hope that other people are able to find peace. I hope people get to know me and stop treating me like I'm like some type of enemy or some shit. And and just to know that I'm a loving person, like, but when I tell you guys, like, stop, like, idolizing Jesus and stuff like that, it's because part of my conversation when I was with God, when I literally, I wasn't here, like, I'm walking right now, but I left my body, I wasn't here no more, so technically I shouldn't be alive, and then when I came back to life or whatever, I was practically like brain dead, and I had to build myself back up again, even to be able to speak and walk and different things like that, like I was pretty much just a, a dead body, you know, when I was doing it. So, during that experience of seeing God, after seeing Jesus Christ, um, when I saw Jesus Christ the first time, I knew he died for everybody's sins and stuff like that, but when I saw him, I was like, oh shit, like, my boy's a savage, like, he really died, and he's alive, you know what I'm saying, like, it was like a, like, you just see the glory or whatever, and then after that is when I kept traveling the spirit, like, I was, like, I was a hero. After that is when I saw God after, and I understood like the love that Jesus had for you guys and all that, but then I understood the sadness that God had in him because he lost his son, and that kind of messed with me for a while. Because I don't even have a son either, so I don't know. I, I was just able to relate or whatever. So um, I was just searching for peace all my life, and I, I was able to do it. You know, and I did it properly, and people have called me like an addict and stuff like that. And in reality, I was doing. You know, the psychedelic plants and all that stuff for my mental health, like, like, I'm, like, glowing inside, you know, like, no headaches and, like, it just feels like I'm floating everywhere. And it's not because my mind is numb or anything like that, it's because it's self-work, it's mental health work. So, hopefully it helps people out, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that while I'm here, most people aren't going to pay too much attention to it. Um, I, although there are some psychedelic folks that have tried it, I've had one person that told me that they also saw Jesus, but he didn't see God. So, I guess I'm the only one with this type of experience. And I know God is not like... Uh, Probably not gonna see this video or whatever. But my work is done. I can't like try and convince people of anything. Like I gave away the dispatch. They can start their businesses with that, so they can make a living. Um, it was also meant for the family of my wifeies or whatever. If I do have some, but you know, it doesn't seem like I don't have a family in this life, so. guys take that stuff serious because everyone likes to talk about stuff especially when it comes to like Jesus Christ and all that but they really felt that like, and, like I know that because he died on the cross like is the reason I'm still alive right now because that could have been me you know what I'm saying like risking even though I risked my life here 
Bulls over there. He got killed by messed up people. And, and that's why I'm not like really religious and stuff because like for the most part religious people are evil bro. Like I'm sorry but the stuff that happened before that's not cool. But anyways, I know that Jesus is in a good place now. And, and I'm glad that he was able to know the Father. Because he was able to share that type of love, you know what I'm saying? So that way so other people can understand it. Because if like uh, another person, like if the father came and he was like, Oh, I love you guys and blah blah like most of you people would be like, What the heck is wrong with this dude type of ish? But because you guys already know how much the son loved you, now you know how much the father loves you. So I think, uh, I don't want to say like I'm immortal or something, but the stuff that happened to me in my life is really a miracle because I was suicidal. And it wasn't because I was like betraying Jesus or anything, like I just had a thought in my mind that I wanted to kill myself. Later on I realized that it was the devil himself, like I was possessed by something, a bad spirit, right? So I understood the scripture part and all that. I knew I was gonna get saved through Jesus Christ. I knew I was gonna seek God. Like I, I knew that process, but when I tried the medicine um, to heal from suicide, I didn't expect to leave my body. I didn't expect to die here and float up there. And that whole experience, the trip even though it was a positive one and peaceful it was a trip to see all that stuff within me like and then you know, like, I, about it when I, came back, so I just wanted to let God know that I've given the peace that I have found I shared it the process and all that shared many other things about my personal life and, um, I'll be talking about different types of spiritual energies that can that you can keep yourself away from and usually it's those type of things are caused by sin but most people are unaware that they're committing sin and then you know it leads to death then you get saved through Jesus Christ. Then you meet the Father and blah, blah, blah. So, I hope that my work helps people in the future. Uh, kind of wish that even Bible people, that people that read the Bible, like, It's kind of weird to talk about stuff like that, but it's like, this is my life, you know, like, I was troubled when I was younger, so I just tried to find a way to help people, because killing yourself is never the answer. I don't like that that happened. So... I'm going to name my son Jesus Christ because God says so, not me. And I'm hoping I live a long life. Like, even if I die here on earth, um, I know I'm going to live in the next spiritual realm and all that kind of stuff. Because I've already been there. I know there's life after that. But I'm hoping I do find Mary again. Hey, Mary. Do it right the next, uh, this time, you know, like, like, there's no reason why evil people should have that type of control. Like, so, hope you, hope you guys...
take my work serious for what it is because I came from God, but Jesus did Jesus sent you, sends you to the Father, but I'm letting you know that I came from God. So, some people are searching for things in the Bible. Don't really know the purpose of all of it. And then when they see my stuff, they'll be like, oh, what the fuck? Like, the scripture lines up or whatever with all my work. But they're like, they, you know, people are expecting the devil and they got me, and I'm not the devil. So, I just taught you guys how to get rid of that bad spirit within you that I had when I was 18, 22. Everybody I meet nowadays will just tell me that I'm a good person. Every time they meet me, they, they try to like, they'll say, they'll expect me to be an asshole or something. Or like a mean person. But the truth is that I'm a good person. And I'm loving and all that. And the things I share make me look bad. But I don't care. So the stuff I'm showing you is spiritual warfare stuff that goes on here that messes with people psychologically and causes violence in the world. And I'm not here for that.